What's happening, Priceline Nation? Listen, folks, time travelers out there, hopefully, wherever you are watching this, hopefully it is warm weather. It's February right now, 2020. But I got a product that I swear is just gonna be so much better in the summer. And we're talking about two new flavors of my proteins, Clear Whey Isolate. So this is more of a, it, well, it, well, you'll see when we shake it up. In fact, we should get it shaken up right now because it does take a little bit of time for the foam to go down. But these new Whey Isolate powders, are clear once the once the foam goes down and they're like translucent. And so the two new flavors I have here are cranberry apple, very interesting, and of course the one I'm excited about, strawberry. Now, each of these way different stuff. Ben and I did the main review first, and the first uh, three flavors there was the mojito, we had the lemonade, and then we had the dragon fruit. And the dragon fruit won big time for me, although mojito is like definitely, yes, another like summertime style flavor that I, I'm like really excited to drink these. I sent that one to Heather, but these are mine. So that sounds, it's, it's oh, that's like smells like a, it smells like strawberry candy almost. That's really cool. And so you, what's also different is that uh, each scoop, now they have very clean macros, no fat, one gram of carbs, no sugar, 20 grams of protein, so you're like 90 calories right here, and it still needs 10 to 12 ounces of water. The powder, if you, you know, touch on the powder, it's definitely a finer, like thinner kind of powder here, and slightly a bit more like kind of sticky on the fingers. So it's definitely a process in a different way that they are going to be shaking up and then drying off clean. Now, I my, the other story with my protein while I'm looking at my stuff down here, I bought more of these. So yeah, these products have been sent for free. We do have an affiliate relationship. Plow 40 is our coupon code with my protein. They were sent for free. These were not, I, I did it, I bought, I bought more. I love these triple stack protein bars. Aren't like my favorite protein bars right now. And I'm about through that box too. So I, I got a problem with some of this my protein stuff. They're doing a really good job with their American products. That triple stack chocolate fudge brownie is really good. Whoa! I don't know if you're a fan of Cran Apple or not, but this smells exactly like what I remember the Mott's Cran Apple drink smell, you know, smells and tastes like. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. But both of these seem like, like you know, just warm, warm, like get out of that hot gym post, get a really good big ass ice cube in these things, and then enjoy this as a nice cold beverage. Get out of the room here. Protein bars are out of here. Okay. Now it's time to shake these up. Look at this. They are foamed all the way up. So it does take a minute to go down. And you can kind of swirl it down. I'm guessing a little bit of Italian nose grease might help with the situation. I'm gonna get some cups poured in as well. But yeah, I didn't even know that these products had, uh, had come out, but then lo and behold, they appeared in the mail. And I think, I think the fruity way is the way to go with these, the cocktail style beverages, or how you wanna go with these like clear type of drinks. Over the course of time, as this simmers down, and it does take some time, as it simmers down, it will eventually not be like clear because it's red, but it'll be like translucent. So you can see this foam just wants to come all the way over here. And so if you're like looking for your drink in a hurry, it might not be for you, but it does, you can see it, it goes down well enough. And there's enough color in here that it's not even like see-through or translucent, like the mojito almost kind of was. So that was strawberry. Now, I used to not be a fan of cranberry, cran apple, but I'll tell you what, I eat those dried cran, if you want to derail me on a diet, here's how you do it. Dried cranberries, they don't even need to be sweetened, chocolate chips, and maybe some walnuts. End of the night, watching a movie, those cranberries are gone. I've, so I've like become to love the dried cranberries, and I'm, I like that tart, but pair it with chocolate, and it's like you have like the savory plus the tart, and a little bit less sweet, and that's really been my jam. Anyway, bigger fan of cranberry. Right now, I think this is the strawberry flavor I'm holding. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. It's, oh, it smells like strawberry candy. This is the first tasting. That is good. Dragon fruit good? It's sweeter. Dragon fruit is a little bit more like aggressive. This is really like those strawberry candies that have the goo in the middle. It's like those strawberry candies. You know, the little red bumpy ones 
the little green packet, or not the green packet, the little wrapper is green on the top, and then you, you bite into it and you sink into like this red jelly. We'll, we'll put a picture up here. It tastes like that flavor system. That's really good. Chances that crayon apple beats that flavor, very low. Mm. The first initial hit was a little bit of the Mott's crayon apple. And then I'll be honest, I, I like cranberry. Like, there's almost too much apple flavor in here. I think most people who want an apple juice type flavor, you want a little bit of something else in there. This does the trick, but I honestly would have liked just like straight more, more aggressive cranberry. The aftertaste on this one is definitely a grower. The grower, not a shower. Yeah, first, the apple's really, this flavor is saved by some awesome apple flavoring. I think the crayon is a slight miss, but it do, almost doesn't matter because the, the, the apple is really, really good on this. There's the crayon. Eh, could do without it, but then the apple. You just keep coming back in for more and more of that apple. Look at that, I drank more of this one than the strawberry. Interesting. I think that flavor, I really, okay, and then the aftertaste, it kind of comes together. It's really true to the Mott's crayon apple drink. That's crazy. I don't know if anyone really out there wants it, but it is good. The apple, the apple on that is solid. But overall, from what I remember, I still like dragon fruit a lot. Let's try this strawberry again. The whiff of like scent you get coming up. Man, strawberry, this might be the best one. Yeah, this is exciting. Top two, strawberry, strawberry and dragon fruit of these two are incredible. Man, this is just like a good, you can probably make cocktails out of this. this is good summertime stuff right now. After that, I might say for number three, I might actually put the cran apple in X because the flavor of the cran apple is, the apple aftertaste is just so good. It's okay at first. And then the apple blossoms. So, and then after that, mojito and lemonade. Lemonade was cool, but like, I don't know, I was, I, I was looking for something a little bit more. It wasn't sweet enough, wasn't tart enough, it was just kind of in the middle. This is, this is really unique. No matter which way you go with this product, you're gonna get some really, really different flavors. But, and as you can see, it's gone down as I've been talking, so you do need to be slightly patient with this. And like, I'm talking like one minute of patience. That was an ice cube that fell on. This is not clumping up too much or nothing. But for a big chug, well, strawberry. I think strawberry is the best one. Yeah. Strawberry and dragon fruit, but strawberry is better. Really cool and unique, really clean protein powder. Anything else to say? <laughs> so hydrolyzed, yeah, so it's a hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, natural artificial flavoring, vegetable juice, and beta carotene, so you have natural coloring. And yes, it is sucralose sweetened, then silicon dioxide, and then you have ACE-K. So you do have the, both the sucralose and ACE-K in here. And you, it does have an allergen warning, and that only is milk-based. It almost doesn't seem like it's milk-based because it's so finely refined, but it still is a whey protein isolate. So really cool things in my protein. Again, we do have a, uh, a sponsored affiliate coupon. What is it? Plow 40, 40% 40 off of the, uh, like the, the, the retail prices on the website. Sometimes they have some incredible deals. They're on a really good mailing list and everything. Overall though, those triple stack protein bars, those are the one must try product from my protein. If you're gonna try something with that Plow 40 coupon. Other than that, if you're looking for a clear weight isolate, there's a lot of good contenders. When we did the last video, we put it up against the Dimatize. Dimatize is stevia sweetened. This stuff I think needs a little bit of sucralose and it goes really well with the strawberry flavor. So strawberry and dragon fruit are my top two at this point. Subscribe to the channel, offer on YouTube, like us and stuff on Instagram, with a following on Instagram, and uh, we're gonna keep them coming. My bro needs to send stuff once in a while and we'll just make a video because I like almost everything that they have. Cran apple, I think the cranberry could have been slightly better with the apple juice at the end. If you want an apple juice flavor protein, I don't know, does anyone else know of one that's out there? I know there was like a, Apple Jack's like cereal flavored one, but that, that wasn't like this. This is like apple juice flavor, but the crayon in the front, I think could be a slightly bit better. If you're an apple juice fan, you might want to try it. That's just hilarious. But I still like the strawberry stuff. This is Mike, we'll see you, thanks for watching. Welcome to Price Plow.